Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. I have a ginger lemon infusion here. So, so it's been a long time. I'm so happy I finally have some time to do this. And that is only because I have um, the Labor Day weekend right now. So I had an extra day off to do this. So yeah, a little life update today. Two major changes in our lives. Gabriel and I, my partner. One, about two weeks before school started, so that's three weeks ago, I got contacted through Gabriel's friend. He works at a primary school, an elementary school here, and he was telling Gabriel that they desperately needed a music teacher full time. To be honest, I was really hesitant because I knew this was going to change my life completely. Um, I wouldn't be able to have as much time First of all, you know that I work, like I work with Gabriel on our business. So I translate, you know, English, French. I help with content writing, proof editing, stuff like that. If you didn't know, we have like an SEO, web marketing company, and we help local businesses organically to get to the first Google results or any search engine. So yeah, that's what we're doing. That's what we developed while we were traveling so we could make money wherever we were. and. I was so happy that I could work on um, YouTube and my music. So I wanted to work on composing and finally, you know, recording my, my songs and my music, sharing it with you. And also, maybe you've heard me talk about this, but I've always wanted to study in something like holistic nutrition, Ayurveda, Chinese medicine, acupuncture, one of these things. And recently I, I had decided that I was going to go into acupuncture. I was going to sign up for September, um, but then this came up and I thought, you know what? I really, Gabriel and I, we really want to buy a house soon. We are kind of sick of like paying rent, you know? We're sick of putting thousands of dollars into something that's just a rental. It's not an investment, you know? Well, I do love our place. Like I, I'm not complaining, of course. I love how we're close to the nature and the forests and the lakes and the rivers. And I love like how kind of big our place is. It's an apartment, but it's it's kind of big, really good price. But yeah, so basically I don't want to ramble too much. Gabriel was like, you know, if you really don't want to do this, I won't force you, but it would be good. And of course I thought, yeah, I think I think this will be good at least for this year, maybe even more. So that's it. That's that's it. I am a music teacher at a primary school, an elementary school for those of you in the U.S. And um, I just had my first week of of classes. Before that, I had a week where teachers would still go to school and prepare. So I did meet students of all ages and I also have like specialized classes so like autistic students so it's an amazing experience I mean I'm exhausted I'm like completely completely exhausted at the end of the day and Friday I had started to like lose my voice I'm really trying to keep my voice down so if you didn't know actually this is not completely new for me I taught um, music I was a music teacher at another private primary school but it had the French French lycée français system so like with the CP, CE1, CE2. I was t teaching at that school for two years um, but it was not full-time it was just one day a week um, because it's a very small school with 150 students. Now I'm at this school which has 400 students and I have like I think 23 or 24 different groups of students and um, they're all between 21 and 26 even 27 I think one of them so I've been kind of overwhelmed by the size of these classes but I'm so excited to share my passion for music because I love love sharing music with young people I know that this can have a deep impact on their whole life this first kind of um, exposition to music um, through their primary school music teacher is extremely crucial I think to how they will view music um, and art in the future of course their parents as well have a role in that but I think I, I'm right now I have a big role to play in that 
Um, okay, so that's the first thing that I have that has changed completely in my life. The second thing is that Gabriel and I have adopted a kitten, an eight week old kitten. And um, Gabriel is actually allergic to cats, but not like very, very, very severe. And he's able to get used to one cat. And as well, it it all depends on how clean the place is. So making sure there's no hair flying around and stuff like that. And that's not a problem for us. We're doing that. We've had uh, Tigre, that's, that's his or her name. We're still not sure if it's a girl or a boy. Mm, it's not really important for us for now, except when I'm trying to say like his name or her name. Um, so Tigre, it's like tiger in, in Spanish, Tigre. I just love it. We've been uh, wanting to call like our future cat Tigre for a while now. We're having so much fun with Tigre and we're playing with Tigre. When we when we got her or him, I'm just gonna say when we got him, because maybe I think it's maybe a male. Maybe it's a female though. I'm really not sure. He was so sweet and peaceful and and like not scared, honestly. Like it was it was really fascinating to see. Actually, I wanted to like hold Tigre to show you now, but he's sleeping and I don't want to disturb his little kitten sleep because it's important, you know, to his development. So, so that's pretty much it for the life update. You should know that Tigre has completely changed our lives. The energy in the house is not the same. You know, it was like Gabriel and I, super peaceful in the morning. Now Tigre comes out, wants to play, wants to eat. We brush Tigre, we play, um, and then during the day usually, and the night, he sleeps. So that's nice. Uh, I think kittens sleep like 16 hours or something every day. So eight hours where he's kind of walking around. Sometimes he can be, honestly, not annoying, but like demands a lot of attention. And I think that's very normal for kittens, you know, they, they, they have a lot of energy during that awake time. <laughs> so anyway, I hope I hope that I can get into this new routine quickly, you know, get used to it so that I can keep making weekly videos. I'm really missing that, but I've been so tired. Oh my God, I start at like 7.30 a.m. Yes, I start at 7.30 and then I finish at three. So at least I finish quite early, that's nice. So I get home at like 3.15 and uh, I can really like rest and have dinner and but I go to bed early like I'm falling asleep around 9 30 and I'm trying to even sleep earlier than that because I want to get up at 5 but I'm getting up at like 5 45 right now yeah so that's it my dear friends I hope you enjoyed this little life update thank you for watching subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and join the holistic Maya family give me a thumbs up uh, if you enjoyed this video Please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and I'll insert some clips of Tigre so you can see uh, what he's been up to. <laughs> Thank you so much and I'll catch you next time. <laughs> Bye.